Hey, what's going on everybody? This is going to be another Android Studio Firebase tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to write data to a Firebase database. So I've already done one on writing data, but this is going to be a little different. I'm going to carry on from the previous tutorial I did, um, Firebase, uh, how to read data from a Firebase database. So I have these users here, and I'm going to create a couple new ones. As you can see, I have Jessica and Ron. And if we go over to the database, we can see no information for Jessica and Ron. So I'm going to sign with Jessica first. Okay, successfully signed in. Now we're going to go down to this user information button and we're going to fill out the information for Jessica. So we have their name, their email, and their password. There's no error handling here, it's strictly just inserting the data. So we hit submit and we can see Jessica's information submitted in real time. So what I'm going to do is carry on from my uh, Firebase tutorial on reading from a Firebase database. I'll put the link right here. Um, I already created a new project and I called it uh, Firebase Save User Data and uh, I basically just copied the reading data from a Firebase database project and I pasted it into here. So you can carry on with that old project or you can create a new one like I did. If you create a new one like I did, you gotta make sure you add it to your Firebase project. So we select the project, so Firebase read data, go to project settings, and then you go down here and click add app and add an app and then you have to fill out all the information for your new Android Studio project. But I've already done that as you can see, so I'm going to get right into writing the code. Okay, so here we are, right as if I left off from my reading data from Firebase database tutorial. First thing we want to do is I'm going to add a button to navigate to our add to database screen. So there's our button, I would declare it in on create. We can see we get some red here because I haven't made the layout for that screen yet. That's fine, we'll worry about that later. And then we're going to go down here and create the button, or set an on click listener to the button. And then we're just going to use an intent to navigate to the other screen. All right, so let's create this uh, second screen here. So go over to Java, create new, add to database. And we'll call the new lay layout add to database layout. So I'll just copy that and go to layout and cr we'll create that layout now. So add to database layout. And I've already made the, the uh, layout ahead of time, so I'm just gonna throw it in here. Very simple, just a title, uh, name field, email, uh, phone number, and then the edit text fields, and then uh, submit button. So we're done there, we can close that. Oh, I forgot to add my button to activity main also. So, and there's our button to navigate to the user information screen. So we can close activity main. Uh, we can check that everything's good in main activity. Looks good. There's no red. Close that too. Um, we'll leave view that database open because we're going to copy actually a lot of things from there. First things first. Let's get our tag. Then declare our buttons and our edit text fields. There's all the buttons and edit text fields we need. We'll also need a string to hold the user ID, so we can declare that now also. There's our user ID. Now, since we're going to be using a lot of the same objects from the view, view database class, we can just go over here, copy all this Firebase database stuff, go back to add database, or add to database, just paste it in. Go back, uh, what else do we need? We're going to need all this. Grab that. And we'll need the add value event listener and the authentication listener so we'll also paste those in the on create method uh, what else do we need we need the toast and the on start and on stop methods paste those below we'll delete the show data method here and scroll up and let's declare all of our variables in on create We've got our submit button our name our email and our phone number now is a good time before I forget to open up the manifest and add everything that we need in here. So we're gonna need to add an activity for the add to database. And I think that's it actually. We got everything else already. So we can close that. In our add value event listener, let's just print something out so that we know when we add something to the database, since that's what we're going to be doing in this video. We'll just use the data snapshot and use get value. Nothing fancy, just so we know in the log what's happening. Now we will create an onclick listener for our uh, submit button. So we'll go down to the bottom of onCreate and set our on -click listener. First thing is let's log the click. Let's go down a little bit to give us some more space. And we're gonna need three parameters here, the name, the email, and the phone number. Then I wanna log the name, the email, and the phone number. Now we're gonna do just a little bit of exception handling, just in case the user presses the submit button and they haven't typed in a name, an email, and a password. So we're just gonna check if the name is null, if the email is null, and if the phone number is null. If they're not, then we can proceed. And if they are, we'll print out a toast here, letting them know to fill out all the fields. Now we're going to create our user information object and store the email, the name, and the phone number. Then we're going to use that user information object and use the database reference and send it to the database. So remember, because of our database structure, we have to use the first child is users. So if we look at the database, 
the first child is users the second child is the unique authentication key for the user so if you need to get that you just go over to authentication copy the unique ID you don't actually need to even do this because it's going to automatically do it but if you wanted to you could add it but we automatically get it by getting the user ID up here we use the fire create a firebase user object get the current user and then call the method get UID on the user to get the that will get the unique user ID so then we can just pass that down here and then we set the value to our user information then we'll just print out a toast letting the user know that the information was successfully saved and reset the text of the name field the email field and the phone number field that was kinda of fast but I think I'm done let's run it and see if we get any errors alright we got our app open so first thing we'll do is go over to the authentication tab and you can see that we have a user here Ron at telus.net who has no information in the database so we'll test that and try and add information for Ron so we'll log in with Ron successfully signed in cool so now we will go down to user information oh I messed up the text field and the layout I'll have to fix that but I'll just leave it for now so we go Ron Ron at telus.net and his phone number will be alright and submit and we can see instantly it's submitted to the database so that's all for this video if you didn't watch my video on viewing data from the database, it's basically if we click on this number here and we can see the user's information who are signed in. So if you're interested in learning about now reading from the database, if you haven't seen that video already, definitely check that one out. If this video is helpful, don't forget to leave a like below. Check out my social media platforms. You can follow me on LinkedIn, Instagram, or Twitter. I post all my videos to Twitter, so following me on Twitter is a good way to get notifications when I post new videos. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.